This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 9, Looping and Random Numbers, Part 19. Design a program. Describe using a top-down approach, which is important, how you would create a program to draw a white snowflake on a blue background that uses random numbers so the snowflake will be unique every time you run the code. You don't need to write the exact code, oh that'd be tiresome, um, or blocks that you would use, but you should describe what functions you would need to create, where you would or not would not use loops, and where you would or would not use random numbers. Okay, top-down design is critical. It helps us solve problems better, and uh, well, what programming is is creating a method of solving a problem. So, what would we do? Hmm. Well, what's that going to involve? To draw out a snowflake. Oh, also, plagiarism and bad. Do not plagiarize my answer. Do not come close to plagiarizing it. I'm doing this to think through an answer with you. I'll come up with my own answer, but your answer will and should be in your words. All right, so drawing a snowflake. To draw a snowflake, well, it says a blue background. So we definitely need, well, a background. So I would start with that as possibly a function um, or we could just use the background if the background's not super complicated though we might uh, I'll have a background function okay and then for drawing our snowflake right I'm gonna use several layers of functions for that so I guess abstraction um, so I would have a draw snowflake function and then within that function I'm going to want to well what's a snowflake look like if you see one drawn out, it's usually like a star with a bunch of uh, uh, branches on it, maybe, right? That all are shooting off in different directions. So, yeah, I might have draw snowflake, then I would have, hmm, something uh, to draw kind of that crystal shapes all on the sides. Um, so maybe draw crystal branch or draw print branch. We'll say draw branch. And then, um, I would have something that would crisscross the branch, right? Because then there's little side branches. So maybe draw side branches or smaller branches, uh, draw draw crisscross it's it's somewhat up to the creator of this so all right i'm gonna start writing this stuff down though and function names are an excellent way to demonstrate top-down approach and to show that you have thought out a problem beforehand so i'm gonna go ahead and write out my answer then we'll talk about it All right, so just stream of consciousness, kind of. What I have is, to create a snowflake, I would use several functions, including draw background, draw snowflake. Draw snowflake would have size and branch number. Draw main branches would have the size, because we do need to know how big. And draw side branches would just have side number in there. The draw snowflake function would have parameters of size, controlling the size of the snowflake and branch number to control the amount of branches. Inside draw snowflake, there would be a for loop that would repeat until it equaled the branch number parameter, which would actually be an argument. So until it was equal to the branch number here that we inputted when we called, it would loop through. So I less than branch number is what that would be. Inside the for loop, I would call draw main branches, right? So inside this for loop, I'm calling draw main branches. Uh, because I am wanting to draw this many branches. The draw main branches function would call draw side branches and choose a random number as a parameter. I could also use a random number for the calls of, for the function calls of draw snowflake to control the size and amount of branches of each snowflake. Finally, if I wanted a snowy scene, I would create draw snowstorm function, a draw or snowstorm function that would use a loop to create many snowflakes. Yep. Um, and again, this is my answer. This isn't your answer. So 
This is kind of my thought process on it. I hope that gets your brain a working. Do not copy my answer. I'm sure you can make it better. Uh, you can certainly improve my grammar. Just reading through this, I need to do some edits. Uh, however, this is the idea. Top-down design, you really want to think of a program before you start creating. You want to break it down into these easy usable parts. Those parts can often be functions and you want to make sure to eliminate repetition by using loops. It makes life easier. So, um, great. Let's, uh, keep on going.